Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here to do the reading for the lovely sign of Leo. Now whether this is Leo, your sun sign, your moon sign, your Venus, it doesn't matter if you're watching this, it's for you. And I feel like sometimes, even for cross watchers, watching videos sometimes out of the blue, they can resonate with us and I think that's okay. Um, so we're going to get started with the gold and black, Rider Waite Tarot. Um, there's a couple of things I just want to put. I've put information down below for, um, you know, my details. I do have another channel, the Intuitive Tarot, if you are interested in a daily reading. Sometimes they're romantic, sometimes they're just self-help or, you know, messages that come through from the universe. So if you're interested in that, the link's underneath. Um, also, um, I'm starting to do podcasts with other people on YouTube and did a podcast yesterday on manifestation with Susie from the Spiritual Freedom Tarot. Um, so, no, Spiritual Freedom Podcast. Um, so if you want to go to her site, you can see the video. If you want to just listen to the podcast, it will be on Buzzsprout under the Aussie Goddess. So um, if you're interested in learning about manifestation. All right, we have the beautiful Ace of Wands coming out for you, Leo. Now, what this means for me is there's a brand new beginning coming in. Um, something you're going to feel very passionate and driven for could be a new start in work, a new opportunity for you, um, a brand new beginning coming right on the beginning of the year, which is absolutely beautiful. So something I feel that you've either been waiting for or planning for. You know, when I see the two of ones, I feel like you're going from the ace to the two. So it's almost like you may be heading off in a new direction with this particular um ace of wands so it can mean you know a different uh career it can mean a different relationship but something here that's coming in is very different to where you currently are okay and it is what i see as a gift from the universe it could be for some of you an opportunity to study go back to study or study a new line of work um you're definitely here i feel you could be planning to buy a new car here. Um, I don't know why that's coming through, but there is a definite energy here that you are moving in a brand new direction. And it's sort of like where you need to be. Okay, so I have the Queen of Pentacles coming through here with the Seven of Wands. That's really interesting. For some of you, this could be moving a relationship from one level to another level. So you could be thinking of asking someone to... Um, marry you for example capricorn taurus virgo energy coming through here um, i feel that for some of you that could be asking somebody for others of you you could be meeting somebody new here um, i do feel that whoever this person is oh boy it's somebody from that you already know okay uh, look you're moving away from one thing to go after something else and what it feels like to me is either you are moving away from the past to move towards somebody uh, new in the future or you're moving away from something here to go back to the past so if you are doing the back to the past thing it may be a person you've dealt with in the past coming around again um, or a person that you've had a connection with in the past that you're finally moving to the next level so let's get into it Okay, yeah, we have the Two of Cups. So there is a connection here, undeniable connection. This always means for me, you know, soulmate, um, some sort of soul contract with somebody. Um, I almost want to say for some of you with that card, that past card, it feels like you may be coming back into contact with somebody you knew a long time ago. You may not necessarily have had a relationship with them, but it's like they are coming back around again. This is the energy of that, you know, somebody you went to school with, for example, that you're bumping into, that you're getting something going with. But whatever this is, you have always had this really strong connection with this person. And I feel like you may not have heard from them for a long time. Some of you may have touched base with them along the way, but I don't feel that anything's ever come of that. But I feel like it's ready to get off the ground now. All right, we have the Seven of Swords coming through with the High Priestess and the World card. 
Wow, okay, so I have to say for some of you here, you may have been dealing with somebody who left you behind to go overseas or interstate or, you know, the relationship may not have been something that you could feel confident about long distance with this person and I feel that you may have sort of pulled it apart for that reason. Um, I have to say that there's this energy of not letting go of somebody along the way, like you've always had this connection to this person. So you may have you may have been able to see this person along the way or you may have had connection. I'm just going to say connection somehow with this person. Could be that they are, you know, a friend of a friend or related to a friend or somebody you went to school with that still kept in touch with them. But there feels to me like you've always had this connection with this person. But I do feel that at some stage or another, you were sort of pulled apart. Again, it doesn't mean you had to have been in a relationship with them. You could have been in a friendship with them, but not really seen it going anywhere. All right, so there's communication coming through here with the Eight of Wands. A decision has been made here with this Two of Swords, and we have the Four of Swords coming through, Six of Swords energy. Somebody is coming towards you after moving away from something else. Now, for some of you, it may be somebody returning to the country or returning to your hometown that you let go of years ago or for whatever reason. There is a return or a somebody is leaving something behind to return. Um, they've made a decision. So either they've been living away from where you live and they're deciding to return or they have left something behind. Um, let's just put some, there's definitely communication coming through. A lot of swords energy coming through as well. Knight of Cups is definitely coming in to make a love offer. And look at this, Wheel of Fortune here. All right, this person is definitely making you a love offer. Whoever it is, is going to be in touch. I'm not sort of saying they're going to come bounding in and throw love on the table. Not like that. I feel like this person is returning with an intention of re-engaging or getting something going again with the two of you. Um, the Wheel of Fortune tells me sort of like, it's like things are now going in your favour. So if you were dealing with somebody who was in another relationship, for example, I feel like they may have moved away from that situation and it's like your time now um, with the Wheel of Fortune. Let's put some more cards on it. Brand new beginning coming with the Ace of Wands. I feel like somebody wants to take a new direction with you here. There is an offer on the table. I feel like this person may text you or um, communicate with you, not face to face to start with. This isn't sort of like an inadvertent bumping into someone. This person is testing the waters here. I feel like you've always felt connected to this person no matter what and you've probably not let them go. For many of you this is somebody from your past here, somebody maybe you had friendship with. The Six of Swords actually comes out here as well and there's the offer right there. Um, I strongly feel here that you could be dealing with an earth sign. Um, there is a bit of uh, Aries energy, Libra energy here as well. Um, and some Capricorn energy coming through. I feel like this person is, is leaving something behind, but I'm not really sure whether it's, you know, where they were living or whether it's actually a person. So I'm just going to clarify a few things on this reading. But their intention is to make contact with you and make some sort of offer. I feel like they've tossed this up many, many times. So to me, it feels like a very tentative offer. This person is very anxious about sort of uh, making contact with you again. But it also could be because I've got the energy of leaving, of doing something to leave you behind. Maybe, I don't know. I don't feel like you were ghosted. Maybe you were. Um, it's more like the energy of somebody making another decision over you. Um, they could have picked someone else over you. It doesn't quite feel, I don't feel that they did anything wrong. They may have just decided to marry somebody else or go overseas, for example. Maybe that was the choice they made to live elsewhere. Um, 
so I just want to sort of pull a few cards at random here all right so have the five of swords so they definitely left you behind even though they didn't want to three of cups tells me that there was another person involved um page of wands again I get this energy that this person is being very very tentative about coming back around okay so that nine of wands now makes me feel like possibly i don't feel the person ghosted you i think that they were very upfront with you i think they told you what they were doing they may have decided to be with somebody else absolutely but ultimately here this person i don't know that they feel ashamed of what they did at all i don't think it was about that i think that they possibly made that decision at the time because they felt it was the right decision to make um and I feel like that, you know, sometimes people pick pe the other people over people and then realise that their heart still lied with the other person. But for some unknown reason, they get caught up in the moment of something. Um, if for some of you, this could be that this person um, has left a relationship behind. But I feel like here, regardless, this person wants to make contact with you here. But again, I feel this sort of very tentative energy. So they may sort of like put, dip a foot in the water to see whether you are interested in them, or they may come at you from, maybe it's only a friendship, maybe you are only friends. So they may come back from, you know, hey, I'm back in town, wanna have a coffee, that sort of energy. Um, but with that three of cups coming out, I can't help. That three of cups for me is very much about a third party situation. So this person could have had somebody else before. I don't feel they do now. That six of swords and the four and two I've got here tell me they've moved away from a situation. Let me just put. Six of pentacles with the hermit knight of swords with the six of swords again yep i feel like they've left somebody behind you could have been dealing with a virgo here um and i feel like somehow or another or this person could cut the virgo out of their life uh, for whatever reason i feel like when i look at the hermit with that six of pentacles energy i feel like they walked away from something where somebody wasn't investing in them so it could have been a fair period of time between the time you last saw them and the time that coming around here so if you've had somebody in your background to me it could be anything up to six years here since you've seen this person but they're definitely coming in to offer you something more even if it is only friendship they want to reconnect with you Now, if this isn't a romantic situation, sometimes people go, I don't want somebody back from my past. It may not be a relationship from your past. Please keep that in mind. Sometimes this is people we've known, but we haven't had a relationship with. Okay, so I have that gnome at 26. I love these cards. Look at that. Card 26 this is creative chaos wild gifts breaking habits and patterns maybe this person's being tentative too because they may not realize that you've moved on or whatever it's time to leap into the air letting the earth turn beneath you and discover why when you where you come down again reasonable risks are okay even unreasonable risks are probably okay use your head and look before you leap of course but do so understanding that the actual jump is likely to be very rewarding no guarantees but there never really are so no matter how pretty the paper they may seem to be printed on and the scroll work around the edge the gnome tell us that the forces of chaos are at work things may not be as they seem and this may be very well a good thing Look for the unexpected, find the opportunity and go for it. He says that no matter how confused things may seem, there is a way to make them better. But it is a creative way, one you haven't tried before. Think amazing new thoughts. And again, I get that energy with something you haven't tried before. Maybe you didn't have a full-on relationship with this person previously. May have just been a 
a, a much more lighter relationship but definitely feeling with that gnome card it's worth taking the risk on all right i will leave you with that thank you